All right, so if you're new to the Wax Neo system, it is important to know that the firmware on your goggles and your VTX must match in order for them to work correctly. So in this video, I will basically be showing you how to flash the firmware for both the goggles and the VTX so we can have a matching firmware. So be sure to like, subscribe, and save this video for future reference. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Before we actually start the flashing, the first thing we have to do is I want you to come to your computer and you're going to go to the CADEX download website. I'm going to leave this link down below at the description so you can just go click and just go be directed directly here. So the thing we have to do is you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to come to firmware. You're going to download the most updated firmware one. So just basically click it and it's going to show a Google Drive and you're just going to hit download. But since I already downloaded it, we're just going to open it right here. So you have to like zip, unzip it and basically you're going to see it like this. So once you have this, the first thing I want you to go in is to go into the firmwares. So at the firmwares, just click this JPG file. So this image will be showing you exactly which file that you will be needing for your like particular device. So you can see that if we're going to do the Agago X ground, so you're just going to use this file for the Goggle X ground and you have the Avatar Sky series, whatever that looks VTX that looks like that. You're going to use this and yeah, Moonlight's a little bit different. All right. So basically that's it going to be for the first part. All right. So basically that's going to be the preparation. Now let's actually bring out our Goggle X and we're going to be flashing the goggles first. Okay. So to flash the goggles, the way of doing it is you're actually going to be taking out the SD card. So you can see that there is an SD card right here and we're going to be putting it in the SD card reader. And next, we're gonna plug this into our computer. All right, so at our computer, I want you to open the particular SD card that we just plugged in, and then you are going to open the firmware that we just have. You're gonna drag this file, the avatar X goggles, and put it in here so we can delete the O1. This is the O1, we're not gonna use it, we're gonna delete it. Once you're done, we're just gonna be ejecting the SD card. And then we will be able to come back to the goggles. All right, so back to the goggles, and we're just going to be plugging in the SD card back to the slot. Okay, the next step, I want you to power up your goggles. Just use a battery. Okay, so once the goggle has been powered on, I want you to find something really pointy, and you're going to be press and holding the buy button for seven seconds. So this is going to make the goggle go into like flashing mode. So it's going to flash to read the file from the SD card and it's going to initiate the flashing. Okay, so you can see that there is going to be something that is running in there. So this is an indication that the goggles is in flashing mode. So we're just going to wait for a while and it should be basically, you, you can just leave it here and it's going to be done within about five minutes. So during the flashing process, you're going to hear the goggle keep on beeping and that's completely normal just to let you know. All right, so after about five minutes, the Goggle X is just going to flash complete itself and it's just going to reboot directly. So basically, this is how you can flash the Wax Neo goggles. And now let's actually switch to the VTX. All right, so next, we're actually going to be flashing the VTX of the Wax Neo system. So to flash the VTX from the Wax Neo system, it is essential that you are going to require this little dongle cable that should be coming with your VTX kit. So if you don't have this cable, you won't be able to flash the Wax Neo system, or the v at least for the VTX side. And this cable is the one people that hate Wax Neo are talking about because like some people just lose this cable and you know, once you lose it, you won't be able to flash your Wax Neo system. So to basically operate this, uh, all you needed to do is to plug it into the VTX. So there's gonna be a little port right here that you can just plug it in. Okay. So once this has been plugged in, you will be able to plug the other side into it with the USB-C cable to your computer. So let's do that. So in order to load firmware onto the Waxnail system, you are required to plug in a battery. So you have to plug in a battery as well. And also since that we are plugging a battery, the VTX is going to be powered on. Let's just use a little fan. Like you can get any fan just to blow out the VTX so it does not overheat. All right, so next step, we're gonna switch back to the computer. So same drill, let's go to the file that we just download and let's go to firmwares. Let's go to readme. You can see that this is, our VTX is one of these ones. So you can see that uh, this is the one, only the moonlight is different. The rest are gonna be the same. So we're, the one we want, the file we want is gonna be the avatar sky. 
And what we are going to do is we are simply just going to be loading the avatar sky into the file that right here. So you can see that this is the file we wanted to load. And then once we are done, we can unplug the USB-C cable. So the flashing is not done yet. So in order to actually flash this, what you have to do is you're going to come here and you are going to press and hold the bind button for about five seconds, seven seconds probably to kind of like reboot it. And then the system, the flashing should be initiating itself. All right, let's just leave it. And once it start, so you can see that currently is red, right? So once it start blinking green again, it basically means that the flashing is complete. Let's just put it here and wait for about, well, probably takes about two minutes. All right, so about three minutes or five minutes, you can see that it's right now finished flashing and it's like blinking green again. So this is an indication that your firmware flashing has been completed. All right, so we are back to the bench and basically that's how you can flash your VTX and your VRX of the Voxnail system. So, yeah, it's very different compared to like DJI whatsoever, but this is how Voxnail operates. I hope they can like improve the process to be a little bit easier in the future because right now it's still a pretty challenging issue, like I will say. So anyway, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below. And if you'd like to see more of those kind of tutorial videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.